big yawn. That's a pretty big yawn. You're pretty big. Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome in. It didn't change quick enough for me. I was like, me. why didn't you say it? You're always out of the cannon. I know. Maybe well, because I, I was gonna, and then it didn't do anything. So hey, what's up? It's Friday, and then it's time for the Mike and Audrey show. I'm Mike. I'm Audrey. This hey. Is Mr. Doe's. Hey. You just can't tell, but he is right here. There you yep. go. There he is. Cattail. Cattail. Welcome in, everyone. Look at all these people who are chatting early on. Russell and Ruth and Audrey. I was third. You were third I was in the third. on the list here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Corinne is in the mix, and uh, uh, Becky showed up early. That's fun. I think she snowed in more or less. That, um, that don't they know it's it's March? Well, apparently Colorado yeah. hasn't heard about that. Okay. Uh, Gates here, yeah. and, uh, and there's a lot of, a lot of chat between the, between those folks. I'm still scrolling. Willem came in. How's it going, Dustin? I just got a thing from yes. you. Uh, Carol's here, and Katie's here. Yep, yeah, Christine is here. Hello, hello. Sir Joel Tom is in the mix. Uh, uh, who else? Oh, we got we got two cats. We got two cats going on here. Yeah, That's we what's do. What's going on there? Uh, Drew and Denise and B Haven and Tom and uh, I think the cell just really jumps. I don't know if Katie did that or not. And Emily Probably. and Raven the Light and Ryan and uh, Min and uh, Jim and uh, uh, Belle and. Have I checked out the March Madness Madness bracket? You know what I haven't. I made oh, an that's Atlas. Kind of, yeah. I made it. No, no, for Atlas. Oh, no, never mind. Then. I made a, a March Madness bracket, but I never went back and looked to see mm. what was going on with that. Let me see if I can find a a link or okay, bye now. something. I don't know how you vote in it. Like, I don't actually know how it works. I just know that it was a thing. And I was like, I'll fill out a bracket. Everyone loves filling out a bracket. Yeah, well, who doesn't like filling out a bracket? If we're the U.S., you love a bracket. Um, looks like it. Has, I don't see anything there. I don't know. Schedule? Start voting? Posted by? They can't see it. What I know. Okay. Well, there's nothing to show them because, I don't know. I can't figure out how to see it. So if you find a link to that, let me know. I got nothing. I don't know how to make it happen. So um, turn off your butt cam there. So uh, so hi, everybody. How's it going? Hope you all are having a, a solid week. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah? yeah? Pretty good? Pretty okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Busy. You know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Did you open the package you sent? Uh, you know, I did open the package. It's actually right Literally here. Literally like two like, minutes ago. Uh, I'm running a little bit late. I just yeah. popped out of the shower. My face is still red from the, the shower heat. Because uh, I, I was just faster got than it. he was today. I was ready to go before Mike was. I know. You actually were. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and blame the post That's office. That's a first. They were very busy today. Like, I walked in and uh, went to my P.O. box, and there's like one person in line in the office. Uh -oh. And I got the little slip out of my P.O. box yeah. to get this here okay. box. And then when I got to the P.O. box, or got to the office, which is not that far. No. There were like no. seven people in line ahead of me. Like, it was, Ooh. all of a sudden, everybody just went yeah. in. I think it's because it was like just before five-ish. I don't know. We have a new person. Who's new? Inus? Is that uh, an I? Yeah, there, there it is. Maybe. I gotta, I no, gotta it's fine. close it's the a, shade. I'll do it. No, no, I got it. It's fine. Nice. There. There, now we can see that. One of these days, I'll figure out a way to make that happen. Uh, welcome. I'm going to go with Inez. Or Innes? I don't know. Tell us how the pronunciation goes. We're curious. This cat has a twisty tie. Yeah. That's what she wants, is a twisty tie. If you have a cat, don't give him toys. Get him twisty ties. Um, shoestrings. Well, it, it depends on the cat. Some well, of them sure. will try to eat I'm them and the kill options, themselves. And... Well, that, yeah. don't do that. No, some cats will do dumb stuff there. Thanks for the Nautilus fountain pen video. You're very welcome. Uh, somebody else got their Nautilus. B Haven got their horse head. How's it looking? Horse head. Horse head. That's a pen that's over here somewhere. Mm, oh, here it is. This pen with its blue and purple and orange and shimmery goodness. Katie dropped it. Yep. It's gone forever now. Oh, you got one too, huh? Tell me it's not a professional, uh, not a professional sports. I'm not interested unless I'm paid to be in the more example about it. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Um, oh, don't do brackets. Not really in professional sports other than soccer. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like doing a bracket even though I don't know anything about it. Um, yeah, red vines. Uh, the horse head is stunning. Yeah, I think it's really good looking. It's a really good. It's a really good Nautilus there. I like the Nautilus. This is, I think, my third. Mm. Here's my second. I'm pretty sure. 
That's the one that uh, Audrey got because we discovered that it existed. On... And that's really yours. I haven't purchased one for myself. Well, yeah. I mean, well, you got it for a... me. I yeah. was telling the story about how we saw it online during a live stream. And you happened to be at the Dallas show. And I was like, oh, my God, run around see if you can find one. I think it was the last one. Uh, I think you said it was the last one, at least with the like a bigger nib or something oh, like that. Okay. So, mm. yeah, you love their nibs. Yeah, I uh, you can't get past the you don't like the portholes, huh? I mean, some people don't like holes. I guess uh, I'm okay That's with true. these. Um, I on the review, like several people said that they had uh, some issue with the nibs of some kind, like some baby's bottom or something going on. But I haven't actually had that experience um, any of my three, so could not uh, help out with that too much. Uh, Carol says, "How do you feel about the FC models retiring, Audrey?" Well, I sort of, I mean, I didn't know it was coming. I didn't know when it was coming or which ones. I knew certain ones were going to retire and have been mentioned to me multiple times. I did not know when it was going to happen. So that was a, a shock mm. when I found out 10 minutes before the email went out. So <laughs> I was a bit surprised on some of them. Yeah. So I do remember he said in the email about, Certain, like the 46 and the 45, I believe, are going to come back in a different, slight different format. So really it's more, and that goes with the long and the XLs of those versions. So that's sort of, I'm lumping the 45s and 46 and all their different length versions of them mm -hmm. are sort of coming back in a way. So I don't consider those fully retired, but for right now, or well, retiring, I should say. So whatever's on the website, we still have, we maybe have a few more things coming out in the next month or two. I don't know. Again, I don't know about that. But I, I believe for at least the 66, the full size, 65, and probably the pocket, pocket 66 are ones that I think are retiring. Like Those retired a long forms. time ago. Those became SEOs. So we yeah. would make batches of them, but they weren't full production, all certain colors all mm. the time. So they were just... At shows and just small batches. Yeah, it shows so, the 25, 33, 40, 45 XL, 65, 66, and 66 Pocket as SEOs currently. But, I mean, there's still, you still get those at shows. You still see, find them on all kinds of... Yeah, so the, so the three top ones are ones that are, I guess, are going to stay SEOs. And yeah. the other ones are actually going to be... These right here? Those, I think, are staying. Those yeah. were in the email, so right, yeah. Right, right. I mean, these are probably going. Those sometime. are actually the. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then it says here, I just found in the stock room. Are y'all getting rid of all the ink? No, only. It says the, we've enjoyed providing these ink bottles. Oh, is the, the bottle? two ounce bottle eyedropper oh, bottles. Okay. I didn't know that these were going online right now either. I yeah. just found out an, an email that went through. So yeah. uh, I did know this was going to happen, just mm. not right now. But yeah, we are getting rid of those bottles. They're really nice if you want an eyedropper or a pen, but you can also unscrew them. And fill yeah, them that yeah, way. Yeah. But the only thing is, once they get low, it's hard to like reach in there. So, super, yeah. So, you'd have to sort of put it in a little inkwell thing or whatever. Use a yeah, syringe, yeah. basically. Yeah. But you're that's a good deal. Have... That's a lot of ink for a, a cheap price. So, if you're wanting that... to try in an ink, you're not going to get a better price. <laughs> that makes them less than a dollar more than the yeah. uh, one ounce bottle. Yeah. So, you know, get you, get you some inks, I guess. Here, I'll give you a link. Tell them I sent you. Well, tell them I sent you. Tell them I sent you. I uh, some of these things are really very good. Uh, what are your What are your favorite Franklin Christoph things? Not a sponsor, but I'll no, I work there, there but... and I have my favorite. Just like everyone else, everyone yeah. has their favorites. Which favorite? Um, I use the. I mean, just a normal blue, blue seventy two. It's nice medium. That's the one I use for all the testing purposes. So I know how it works. Don't have problems with it. If you want a blue, this really nice blue. But for like a fun, because these are generally a little bit more of a muted tones, as you can tell. They're not like bright pinks and oranges and stuff like that. So it's. A, I mean, the red's pretty bright. The, red, the red's bright. But Spanish blue. Spanish blue. I very like bright. Spanish. So that's probably my favorite color is Spanish blue. Mm. Um, And really I use nice. blue 72 a lot. Emerald 357, I really enjoy as well. Mm -hmm. um, He's got a typo in here. It says 257. Well, you better send an email in and tell them what's up. Yeah. Black Cherry is very popular. I don't use that one as very as often, but it is very popular. Yeah, Black Cherry is only okay for me. Yeah. Like, I think Black Cherry is really overshadowed by uh, Sweet Maroon and Arushi. Arushi Red, I'd say, is one of the top colors that we Arushi have. Is, seller. Arushi so, is great. And that's a nice, very pretty red. So I'd probably yeah. pick that one. Um, Sweet Maroon I really like as well. Like It shades down to a nice pink uh -huh. sometimes. 
Spanish blue, I always forget how much I like it until I put it in a pen. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is really good. And none of these are like yeah. super sheen. Or they might have a tiny bit of sheen on certain papers, but yeah, just a tiny bit. And more of a shading thing, depending on the color. The 172 ones, might have the most sheen. It might, yeah. It has a bit. I mean, it depends on little, the paper and much, stuff. Yeah. But I don't see it as much because I use our paper for testing. Mm. And so our paper is more absorbent. So it doesn't, yeah. it eats sheen and things. And sh- not. Shady. Not always. The we'll see, some, we'll see I, something that can't eat it here soon. I will mention, if you want to go back to the inks real quick. Okay. That I generally find that Noir at Blue, yeah. Honeycomb, hmm. those two, and maybe Tenebra's a little bit, slightly, are a little bit on the dry side. Honeycomb's dry, huh? I find it to be a little drier. Hmm. I didn't really, didn't really notice so, that, but... But definitely Noir Blue, but I want to say Honeycomb a bit. But mm. those are the ones that I want to say are more that. So just yeah. letting you know. In case if you don't like a little bit of a drier ink, that that's what I can tell you. Um, Spanish Blue and Emerald, those are very... Those are, actually, you know what? Maybe Emerald has more sheen than I'm giving it credit for. It shows some on Arushi Red here. Uh-huh. And I don't really remember that, but it's been a while since I've used Arushi. Um, yeah, I, don't know, I think it's pretty cool. I, I dig it. I dig it. Anyway, so grab yourself a two, a two. I almost said two liter. Get yourself. Wow! A two, don't get two liters. That seems like too much. <laughs> get yourself a two liter bottle yeah. for for ten, twelve. Well, like, be... I'm kind of tempted to get some, and I've got all of them, so I'm not gonna. But I am tempted. Um, we don't sure. make the base inks or anything. Mm-hmm. We do mixing in house, but we don't actually make it. So a well reputable, you know, source that we get it from. It's not like. Some random person making it. Yeah. That is not, but it's a reputable brand that we actually mix in house. Yep, they mix it up. Yep. Um, speaking of other inks, oh, this is one that I got an email about and then kind of forgot about. Yeah. Um, this is from True Fay. Actually, I don't. This is a different thing. I didn't even know. Oh really? Miss wow. Chelsea from Australia. What part of Australia? Right. We have we have a Perth person. But I'm yep. curious if maybe maybe she's on the. East Coast. It's way too early for y'all in Australia. Yeah, definitely. Um, so this is called Beam Me Up. It is an exclusive Colorverse ink for uh, True Fay down in South Carolina. Got some some green sheen there. Yeah, definitely a purple with some green sheen. Uh, Colorverse makes a really good purple. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, the one that Drongles yeah. has, uh, Purple Cosmo. Yeah. Top flight purple. Oh, Extremely Purple good. Cosmo. I do remember using that. I haven't used it in forever, but that was a great color. Super good. Yeah. So 1850. Uh, I think they said something about like free shipping on it or something really? until Saturday. Huh. Maybe um, it was in the email or something. I think it was in the email. Huh. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Maybe somebody can tell me. Purple Cosmo is so good. It really is. I think they still have it, right? Like, I don't think it's gone anywhere. Whoa. Actually, let's look at this real quick. Well, here's the, here's the, the yeah. beam me up. I really like that label. I think it's very good. That's a fun label too. I it's enjoy good. a little kitschy little little label. Extraterrestrial highway. Yeah, I, I'm gonna add that to my cart. And thank you for the makeup um um compliment. I, it was not good. Hmm. I, I I said as soon as I started putting the underneath on, I was like, Mike, it was a bad idea. I regretted it instantly, I was but in I didn't have time and she's to like, deal I've with made it. a mistake. <laughs> I did. <laughs> And then I got on the show, I'm like, oh, you went kind of goth there. And she's like, like don't, up. don't, don't. Uh, uh, I didn't mean uh, to. I shouldn't yeah. have, but. <laughs> yep. Uh, I like that ink you have so many purples and green sheen. It is a pretty, um, is a pretty common sort of uh, combo, including uh, our Brahe, but I mean, they're all well, a little bit different. I feel you know? like that sheen's a little different than other greens. I don't feel yeah. like it's as bright as other ones. Yeah, I think so too. Um, before we go and look to see if they still have a Purple Cosmo, uh, there's this one, which is the Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball, Allison Wonderland. Allison Wonderland. It's cute. I like the color. I like uh-huh. the blue. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Allison Wonderland. I'm mm. not, I don't dislike it, but I'm not one of those, I gotta have everything. Yeah. That. I guess I... I really I, like the blue finish on the yes. metal. I think the metal is really good. I think the art is interesting, but it's not really. I'm not like a big Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, fan, you know? it's like, just it's my, cool, but it's not, not my me. stylized version of it. I oh, do think I this do. Looks great. I did not know that it was glow in the dark. That yeah. helps. Yeah, and I like that the the glow in the dark is kind of behind the darker yeah. 
uh, overlay, and yeah. so you get a really nice show It's not through. the opposite, yeah. Yeah, and it's a lot of glow-in-the-dark. Yeah. So some of the other glow-in-the-dark ones we've had will have, like, little pops, little or, like, bits. certain things that'll glow-in-the-dark. This is, like, yeah. the whole pen. I sort of want it to be more Cheshire Cat, but I am mm. biased. I like the Cheshire Cat so. is uh, pretty pretty prominent right there next to the cliff. I think it's pretty good. I like I this Alice, too. It's a fun Alice. But I like the hair, yeah. it's very stylish. It's yeah. uh, it's a good loom. It's a, going on it's there. a fun finial with the little the swirly. It's fun too. Uh, Brad showed us last week. What does that mean? Um, the ink or the pen? Uh, I don't know. He didn't show my makeup. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, this one came out this week. It's a fun box year. too. Yeah, it's, it's interesting different. that it comes in a box. They don't yeah. usually do that. Oh, the he showed the pen last week. Oh, yeah. Well, early. I mean, he had it last week? Well, look at him. Wow. Uh, pff, I mean, you know, that's cool. I only do uh, live on YouTube once a week, so uh, we looked at it on Twitch as well, but there's not a huge overlap, so I want to do both. Uh, yeah, there's that. Let me look and see if they have the Cosmos on here. That Alice in Wonderland is not a store exclusive, right? It's at mm, multiple places. Yeah, okay, I, think it's ever, I, I think it's all over the place. Yeah, oh, they so still have it. What? Yeah, they still have Purple Cosmo. And it's definitely got, I think, yeah, there's the sheen. Yeah. The sheen is kind of goldish yellow on yeah. this one. Um, so I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So a real golden yellowy there. Yeah. But I don't feel like it's that, I don't remember it being that intrusive, but. I think they took this picture at like at an angle or yeah. something to show oh, okay. the, the, show the okay. sheen. Because, I mean, if you look at this one, like, you can tell they, they tilted the paper. Oh, there it is. Yeah. You know? I mean. Oh, this yeah, you do see the purple. Unlike with an ink we're gonna look at today, where you don't actually see the purple. This is although super I gotta pretty. say I've used some pa some Different. papers and I saw the purple. Yeah. So it just okay, depends, it just but, but yeah, purple Cosmo. And that's two fifty cheaper too. So that's positive. Like I said, well, it's been out for a couple of years at this point. That's true. Maybe it was more expensive. Get both of them. I mean, look, different shim they're different yeah. purples and they're different uh, yeah. sheens. NASA so. blue, also pretty good, but I think the standout is really I the, thought the it was the NASA, or the the other one was Cosmos was a little bit better, too. Yeah. Well, it's more unusual. Like, yeah. the, the blue yeah. with the sheen, Colorverse does a good sheeny blue, but this yeah. purple is pretty great. Um, what else do I have on here? We got some Inca Pet stuff. Right, right, right. Is, that um, looks super fun. I use mine most days. Well, I use yours most days because I've been sticking with it's now my on my third month. Oh, oh, oh. my Inca of, Pet? Yep, yeah, the Inca Pet. Um, I'm on my third month of doing everyday journaling. So, on my five year journal, I'm stuck with it. Yeah. Stuck with it. Hey there, Raw Weens. RF, is that Rick? Welcome in. Just started a YouTube mm. channel. Congratulations. Oh. Uh, an off-topic question when getting a nib ground to an architect is the best idea to start with start big mm -hmm. you can always make it finer yep. it's, it's hard to make it bigger yeah mm, but big. i mean if you know for a fact that you want something to go really fine mm. if you're like i'm definitely gonna get a fine architect which would be interesting and but you don't have to start with a double rod no I mean, then no, you have no, to do no. that yeah, so yeah, it depends yeah. on you know that little line variation you want. So just close a little bit, at least one or two steps above that if you can. Yeah. 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 But yeah. at the same time, yeah, starting bigger. Just starting bigger is kind of yeah. better usually. Yeah. So those ink pets on an oil slick iridescent color. I haven't seen one since. Oh, they must have had a, a certain filament or something. Yeah, so this is the one I use the most, although I do have this one, the cat and the dog, but yeah. I really like this little Alcapoose. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably... I have it in my cart right now. I have uh, one of the penguinos there. And they just put I, out these. The, that egg looks fun. And they just put out these uh, these Easter things. And it has the cover so it looks just like an egg at other times. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I was going to get a penguin and the uh, the ears. Do you know what this is? Like, what's the deal with that thing? That's just the insert. that you. Oh, that's the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So he's just kind of long. I was talking about the thing on the left back, that thing. Oh, this thing right here. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That's why I was asking. Yeah, that's about. what the ears are attached to. Oh. Yeah. I was thinking it was just like a little, a, a short little top, you know? Yeah. A little hat. Yeah. I like this. Uh, I like this one the best. I don't know why exactly. I think it's just because it's very broad and I don't know. It's waving at me. And I, think that's fun. I like the waving too. I've yeah. got a little hook for it as well, but I'm going to get some ears. Yeah. yeah. I sort of want the, yeah, I sort of want the egg. I didn't the ears? Oh, the egg is probably on here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You want an egg? There you go. I sort of want an egg. It's cute. Add to cart. 
So that, anyway, well, my baby this, wants my baby gets. By, uh, oh, it's, a a young little maker, that for sure. So. Yeah, a little guy named uh, Calvin who makes those. Calvin, that's what I can remember. And yeah, uh, yeah so this is. I always forget to do links. Boop. I want to say they go to one show as well. I want to say Pacific Northwest. Oh, I think so because they're up there. Yeah. Is that where they are? Mm-hmm. You like getting ears to your penguin? You put googly eyes. There's googly eyes. Oh, would you just like get some googly eyes and stick yeah. them on it? I could put googly eyes That's, on this guy real easy. Yeah, you should. Oh. Uh, it needs googly eyes. You want me to get them? Where are they? By the closet door. The closet of doom back there. Is it on the shelf thing? No, it's by the closet door. If you go over there, you'll see it. It's right in front of the closet door. Uh, it's in the big plastic case. Um, egg to cart, indeed. They're in PNW. Yup. Um, mentioned before, former chat star, Colorverse Blue Dragon finally arrived. Once shipped out the package, got stuck at one USPS for four days. Well, that'll happen sometimes. I retired time buying 3D printers since you have several 3D printers. You have several 3D printers? Well, I mean, you know. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Just bring the whole thing over and I'll grab it. Because I, because I know. Okay. That's easier than trying to tell you. This is my, this is my box that I keep all my... Uh, store things yeah in. like a bunch of store stuff like it's full of pen rests and it's full of stickers and it's full of nonsense little, little envelopes i put single or you know i put sticker orders in and so we my, started watching my pins the floor which is a game show all right non sequitur yep and one of the so everyone has their own topic that they are knowledgeable in and one person's was junk drawer. <laughs> That's true. So it just made me think of like this sort of like these googly eyes. That would go in the junk drawer. Like just uh, mm -hmm. the nonsense stuff. Yeah. Like that as well. Yeah. Oh. Huh. What are those for? I don't know. Okay. I must have been there for, there for a reason. Yeah, I've got a bunch of googly eyes. Uh, every once in a while I'll take them to pin shows just to see, uh, you know, every once in a while something's a googly eye on it, you know? So Eaton is now shipping its Mark One Lagoon. Well, that's good. Sorry, right, Sunkist. Not, Not a sponsor. sponsor. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, three filament, three filament printers and a resin printer. Well, look at you. Wow. Let me think about that size. Probably. That seems like the right size. Yeah. If you want it to not be goofy. I mean, it's gonna be kind of goofy. Well, it's gonna be goofy, eyes. but also I don't. If you put like little tiny ones or huge ones, I think it'd be. <laughs> that's what I mean. I don't think it's... it fits very well, and this one it would have to be hard to stick. Actually, this one almost fits backwards. <laughs> I don't think it would fit in there. It would. Greg's not shocked at all that you have googly eyes. Nope. Uh, of course, I have googly eyes sitting around. Who doesn't? Sometimes you gotta put googly eyes on stuff. In fact, I actually have given some to um, to some of my um, my faculty peers because when we started teaching online. Uh, a bunch of them were like, how on, on earth do you look at a camera all the time? And uh, the answer is you just kind of get used to it. But a fun little trick is if you put googly eyes on your camera, oh, these are different sizes, I think. I'm terrible at it. I'm Well, I'm more yeah. often reading the chat, which is... Well, I mean, if you put googly eyes up here, then it makes it easier to look at. Uh. So you just like, paste some googly eyes to you and you'll be all right. All right, all right, all right. Pin Chalet made the uh, Pin Chalet made the move to bigger offices, a little bigger, better organized, and are now on a first floor in a big new location. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, good for them. I'm glad. A big and a small one. Yeah, I think because they have the hollows in here, yeah. I think I need to have one size that'll go all the way around. You know, otherwise it's not gonna fit. It would look cool if it had a small one, but the only problem with them is getting the little Am sticky bit it? off the back. No, that's all right. I got it. I got it. If I break a nail, nobody cares. Uh, so there's Inca Pets. What else we got? Oh, we got these. Yeah, Easter's coming up. So that's why that's sort of a thing. I can believe it. How is yeah, Easter right? almost here? I don't know. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem right to me. No. But, uh, these are the Kara's Pinco Decagraph, which is a pen I actually don't have one of yet. Uh, and I'm really? Oh. Yeah, I'll have one. Okay. Yeah. Um... I'm going to guess that you like the blue and orange one. Best. I do like the blue I'm and orange. Shocked. See, I... I'm not certain if I like it best though. And that's why I haven't really? hit the, the buy button. I mean, I'm kind of hoping they'll have them at, have them in Atlanta, but like, who knows? They might not. So maybe I'm, I don't even know if they go to Atlanta. Uh, they are going into Atlanta. Oh wow. Um, that's far for them. It's less far than Baltimore and Philly, which they were both at and DC. And well, I didn't shop <laughs> at Philly. I didn't have time to, I've been at, it's been a busy year at shows. I've not been able to shop as much That's as I true. usually do. Airplanes make it uh, yeah. pretty, you know, pretty much even. 
Uh, filled your share of labels. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh oh. Ah, uh, didn't stick. This one doesn't want to stick very well. Hmm. What's your deal? What's your deal, I? The other one stuck real good. Huh. No. Is my finger good? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Which one's your favorite, Odd? <sighs> um. I want to say my least favorites are probably the two silvery ones, which are also the most normal looking ones. The black one, it's a bit Halloween-y. It's giving Halloween. But also, I mean, the darker gray one, I guess I do. The, the silver is the one I like the least. If you, Again, we all have opinions here. If you yeah, like yeah. that, I'm not... The silver is very clean it. looking. It is. Like, it's got kind of like a bright, clean it sort does. of aesthetic going on. But I do like the sort of pewter, like the yeah, one... Yeah, like brushed silver one. And I like the black because it pops, but again, Halloween sort of thing. And the one that's the brightest that catches your eye first is the blue, obviously. Yeah. But, but these these two but on those the, two on the left, I think, those are my are likely my favorites. Yeah, these aren't bad at 125 bucks. Let's go ahead and make a poll. What everyone's favorite is? Oh, that's a good idea. I think Just I can do that. Just want to know what everyone's favorite combo is. Now here's the. There we go. Did you get to get a different one and it finally stuck? No, I just found a flatter area. So oh, it's, okay. I'm it, trying to stick a flat thing it, on a curve. Yeah. And it didn't it really want to do that. No. So, but uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so if you're watching on your TV. Try and use your remote. You might be able to do a poll, but I don't know. All right, let me try and do a set up a poll here. Where the heck is the? Oh, do I have polls on here? You do. Um, engage with your yeah, audience. Start, start a, a poll. poll. All right. Which combo? We've got um. Orange and. Well, let's just say blue. Um, blue. Yeah. Blue. My I spell B L U E. Yeah. B L E U. Blue. Blue. Turtle was turtle's not like you to like, engage with him. Brushed. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying put to gray, silver, Shh, silver black. and black. You keep saying words. My brain can't work. My brain works too fast. I know. But you're not setting up this poll, so. Well, I'm helping by with words. I don't know if you were. I don't know if you were helping actually. Uh, are the clips the same shape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure the clips are all the same shape. It's so the shape on these actually is kind of like, um, it's got like a, like a, how do you call it? A chamfer or something? Or you cut an angle off on the sides? Bevel. Yeah, good bevel. Yeah, I think it might be the same thing, but yeah, beveled. Yeah, I think they're all I the same. That's a bevel. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, that's those. Hit that pole, blue brush, silver or black. Everyone needs googly eyes at home? I know, right? They're in my box of mischief. The thing is, you can't get, you know, a small handful of Google googly eyes. No, you buy like a thousand of you them You have a time, to buy a lot of but them. It, but it costs like $5 or something. Like, it's not a not a significant expenditure. Mm -hmm. And so is their blue titanium Italia pocket pen on sale for $72. Well, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Are the, what nibs are those? Are they're, those Bach? They're Bach yeah, nibs. Yeah. That's um, the... I thought so. Which does make me hesitate because I don't like them. But, um, I can work on it for you. And you're probably going to have to, honestly, because I, well, that's the cart, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, then while y'all are thinking about that, there's also this pen world that has the new, or has new, has new, um, uh, this is not pen world, the magazine. This no. Is the yeah. Yeah. Uh, has the Conid King Size Demonstrator Bulk Filler coming up soon. That is the big old King Size one. Conid's back. <laughs> nice. Bach are good. I mean, Bach is okay. Um, mm, it's okay. Yeah, Mike just had a problem with a Bach from last yeah. time. Well, so. it's Bachs never work well for me, except for I gotta say the one the I got. From, the one I got from Conid is <laughs> excellent. Um, but, uh, yeah, they will be coming with, uh, 18 carat, 14 carat and, uh, titanium, titanium. nibs, which is not great. Um, because it's going to add a huge amount of expense. So this is, uh, 822 euros is, uh, about 900 USD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. this, I will bet a dollar does not include the nib. 
They mm-hmm. always add the nib as like a separate thing, and mm-hmm. you can't see on here how much the nib's going to be because it's not available yet. It's interesting you can't get just... just can you just get a silver one? Just just, a, just well, you can get a silver one, but it'll be 14K. No, but like just... I guess it's know. just it's just gold, gold. I thought it was 14 and 18 when I read it earlier. It's just gold colored, silver colored, or titanium. Well, I meant like yeah. steel. I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, they won't do that. I think these are the bigger nibs too, if I'm not mistaken. Like they're mm-hmm. the like the number like eight, eight nibs, or something like that. But that's what they do with the minimalistic as they did too, and they were real expensive. I forget what they were charging for a nib, but it was hundreds of dollars for a nib. Like it was wildly expensive. Mm. So I don't know. Like a gold box ain't that expensive. So mm. I don't know. But this is already almost a grand, so it's. I'm guessing it'd probably be like thirteen hundred with a nib on it. I think That's my guess. The thing before I, taxes or whatever. I'm guessing that if somebody wants a Kona, they're that extra for a nib is not what they're worried about. You know, it's yeah, but it makes it hard for me to buy a bulk filler because well, you do the, already have a couple Konas. It was not like well, I don't have yeah. the king size. Oh, the king size is cool because it's got that extra. Do they ever show the bottom of it where they have like the extra stuff? Because this has, uh, the king size, I believe, has the extra, like, um, like ink flow cut off, and they never show the bottom. Weird. Show the top, though. They show the top. Huh. Yeah, they never show the bottom. So the king size, in the past, anyway, has, like, a post inside the cap, and then sort of, like, a, I don't know, a hole underneath the nib. And so when you cap it, it goes like this, yeah. and it'll cut off the ink flow to the, yeah. to the nib. It says size 8, yeah. It says size 8, yeah. that's true. Um, good. Yeah, I don't know if they still have that. Um, it doesn't actually say. I don't know. They don't actually, and you can't see inside the cap because it's an opaque yeah, cap. Yeah, it's opaque one, yeah. But opaque cap and demo body, I think, is a really good combo for this pen. Because mm-hmm. um, yeah. you want to be able to see into the body. That's the thing I've learned. So, mm-hmm. otherwise, you, you, I forget how to fill it. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I think you have the, the king size? The Kaiso king size? Kaiso is what they call that shutoff. Don't they all? They don't all have that? Hmm. Weird. What's the most you'd spend on a pen? I don't know. Don't know. I mean, this would... I've got a couple of... I've got a couple of king of pens, but I got those using mostly store credit, so... Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna close that poll. Get your get your oh, votes yeah. what's in. The, what's the result? Do you even know yet? I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it okay. a sec. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna close the poll. I didn't vote in my own poll, because that seems weird to me. We already voted. We told our, our opinions. Yeah, we already did. But Some, it's also covering up the chat. And it's kind of annoying me. Somebody had a very good question, and I hope you did not buy this. What? The Detect Off Turn flashlight. No, I didn't get it. Why do you hope I didn't buy it? Because it's like $300. Yeah, it's a real nice flashlight, though. Oh, it, I mean, it better be. No offense, Detect. I mean, I like your stuff, but I'm not in need of a $300 flashlight. So I'm tactile sure it's turn, great, but tactile turn yesterday put a couple of um, yeah, <laughs> put a couple of things up, and well, they actually put a whole bunch of pens up, and also their new flashlight. So the pens they put up, one of them that sold out immediately. That's super, uh, that I forgot about that. That one's cool. This is the Embrite. Embrite is the name of this material on the ends, and it is extremely glow in the dark. Like it glows yeah. real hard. Uh, which I is mean, very it looks cool. like it's gonna glow in the dark just in the day pictures. So yeah, I know, right? Uh, so they did a uh, a DLC diamond light coating or mm-hmm. diamond light carbon or something, whatever yeah. they said it stands for. Not them, but the DLC people. Yeah. Uh, so titanium barrel and uh, embrite ends instead of doing mm-hmm. just a whole embrite, which might have yeah. been too much day glow yellow for people. Yeah. I kind of um, want a whole pen made out of that. You, uh, yeah, you, we'll, you would. We'll talk about the Kaveco soon. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, um, why is it so expensive? Well, we'll see here. Um, the other ones they had are like, they had the thick titanium, which is kind of cool. I don't know how, I, how heavy that one is. You know, it's not, it's they hollow it out pretty good, enough, I think. So it's yeah. not like super heavy. That's let's good. see what it, let's see what it weighs. Uh, 1.4 ounces mm-hmm. for the mini oh, okay. up to 1.7 yeah. for the biggest version. So like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not exactly light, but it's not super heavy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then like a bunch of these crazy things. Uh, it looks like all sold these. out except for that thick titanium. They probably made the most of those because it's not like mm. it's not like the rest of these. Like it doesn't yeah. have like, you know, yeah. like this is full on zirconium sure. Damascus, which is like nine hundred dollars. That's also because it's an extremely expensive material and it's yeah. hard to work with. Yeah. Uh, like it yeah. really wants to light on fire. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, It's cool when it's a pen. Don't worry about having a pen version, but don't shave off little shavings and then subject them to heat because they will burn mm-hmm. 
ferociously. Uh, but then they also did the flashlight. So their flashlight is brand new. Um, it's like 300 bucks. Why wow, they sold out. So who, who, forget me because I'm yeah. wrong. Cause I mean, so this is a whole <laughs> other market. You it know? is. It um, is. I know. There's a whole bunch of people out there. that are fancy yeah. torch folks and they yeah. call them torches, not just flashlights. There usually. You, okay. Um, but yeah, it's got like a fancy emitter in it, which is what they, mm-hmm. which a fancy fish like people call the light bulb or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um, so those matter. It's like, you know, all handmade down there in their shop. So it's got that going on. It's, you know, it's, 300 it's, bucks is not wild for fancy flashlight people. It's like asking one of the watch people and like mm. they're going to, there's internals. There's certain specs that make yeah. it expensive. And so yeah. I understand. I was just joking. I, I'm talking to pen people like, yeah. like, <laughs> so, 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 like, so yeah. Like, yeah, we draw 300 on a pen with no problem. Yeah. Not no problem, but not, um, not, not. What if we want a very flammable pen? Uh, get a celluloid one. Well, the other thing <laughs> is um, we get flashlights all the time. Who does? Oh, that's we true. Do. My dad gets those flashlights Yes, yeah, so we lot. get... Uh, yeah, we None get of them are like this level. That's, that's true. A, but collectively, yeah. after we have so many that you'd probably mm. be that much. Oh, maybe. Know. I mean, this yeah. is the one that... This is actually the one I got when I was yeah. like, I'm going to get a slightly fancier torch. I got the Lumen Top IYP365. Uh, this is the one that I take to shows with me and stuff. I use it at my desk all the time. Yeah. It's got a uh, nice emitter in there. It's the, uh, I'm pre- pretty sure it's the IYP is the name of the emitter. Uh-huh. And it's um, has like sort of like lifelike color correction. Mm-hmm. It's one that like doctors will use for looking at tonsils and stuff because mm-hmm. you want to have like the right color. Uh, if you get a too white one, yeah, it sure. makes the colors different. That, that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, I um, you can like half press the top and get different intensities and stuff, which mm-hmm. is cool. But this is like 15 bucks. Oh, um, cause I don't know. I don't, I don't use a flashlight that yeah. much. So yeah. love that Luma. Yeah. It's great. Right. You got it because of me. Well, cool. Wow. Yeah. I think it's very good. Average pedestrian compact flashlight. Um, yeah. So as a, when I'm pedestrian it out in the dark, I use like a headlamp mm-hmm. cause I want to have my hands free, especially if I'm dealing with scraggles. That's true. Yeah. Do you want to finish the, Oh, the pole. pole. Let's see what the pole is. Close pole. Does it do anything? Do we just not even get to the, oh, here oh there it is. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but the uh, thing People says, agree with us. Yeah. Blue, 47%, uh, brushed 33, 33, silver 9, and 12% for black. Yeah. I mean, orange and black is a classic color combo. It's it, hard. To, it it's kind of hard to beat. It does say, it does, it does give Halloween vibes sometimes, but like I've got a lot it's, of orange and black. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, the orange and blue is very good. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not like a, definitely that's a football color. Like, a, is that Miami? Miami's Syracuse. college team. No, Syracuse is just orange. Really? Are you sure yeah, about yeah. that? Yeah. Um, Syracuse is just orange. Broncos. Broncos. And uh, I want to say Miami, Florida. The university, I'm pretty sure, is that. And Broncos, of course. I yeah. thought the Gators, isn't that? Yep. That, I yeah. just thought it was green and orange um, for some reason. Because of Alec. I don't know why. <laughs> um, Syracuse. I mean, look, I, you're probably right. Miami is orange and green. Yeah, thank you. Miami's orange and green. I thought they had blue too. Well, they got some blue here. Just look up colors, school colors. Orange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> their school color is just orange. Uh, Rose pink and pea green were their original holy colors. Holy smokes. Yeah, so orange became the official color for Syracuse University in 1890. And we're not popular. <laughs> Syracuse became the first college to adopt only one official color. Look at them. Look at them. Yeah, Original school colors. school colors are rose pink and pea green. Huh. Woo. I mean, look, I think rose uh, pink and pea green looks pretty cool. I like a pink and green color together. Rose. I, I do. Um, speaking of uh, pink uh, and green. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's this pen from Benu, yeah. which is their Easter, Easter. A, Easter bunny edition. I actually, I almost got this when I ordered stuff from Atlas last night. Oh, really? But I kind of wish they'd just do the pen without the illustration on it. Like, I think the painting's very nice, but it also is so seasonal and so specific. Yeah. That I'm yeah. like, mm, I'm only going to use it, like, during a particular season. That, and it would feel, like, yeah. out of place. Like, I, I love it. And I think that's adorable. Yeah. But I also don't want that on a pen because, yeah, I just don't yeah. want to have that on a pen. Things are, like, just, like, to Christmas or to Halloween. And, like, that kind of locks them to a time of year, you know? Yeah. Um, but like this, like pink and orange and green, fantastic color scheme. I love it. Yeah. It's garish. Yeah. Uh, but I love it. Yeah. I would for sure have that pen. Yeah. 
that's the best form of the Bennu, I think, as well. The talisman size. It's great. Huh. So, yeah, if you want to grab one of those, uh, 280 bucks. It's cool. They're all hand-painted and stuff. Yeah. Just Google, like, well, here, I'll give you this link. You can also get an atlas with my code and, like, save some money off of it, probably, uh, and some other places. Uh, my patrons have a gold spot code, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, or Three et cetera, huh? So many wow. et ceteras. Um, do I have an affiliate link for the torch? Oh, no, I don't. Do not. Uh, orange, green, and white. The color is the orange tree. Oh, look at you. Uh, oh, didn't Bijou go there? Bijou was down in Florida, I think, right? Yeah, orange, green, and white. The color is the orange tree. Hmm. Well, there you go. Just Broncos. It's got to be something else that's orange and blue. There's definitely something for else. For sure. So there's that one. Uh, so Smoothie is buying their own Tomoe River notebooks. They totally are, yeah. Oh. Um, and if you watched the uh, the stream from Baltimore, um, Akila was showing those off. Um, you are. Um, I'm terrible. I could not remember her name. And I remembered her husband's name because it's What's her husband's name? Normal. That's right. Because it's the name of the cat on Garfield. That's <laughs> the only reason why I remember. Because I'm not always great at names. Did I spell it right? Friends. Dot com? No, I don't want to start. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's right. Weird. Weird. So huh. I put it in Google and it didn't work at all, but mm -hmm. I just typed it in the search bar and it's like, yeah, here you go. Okay. So Smoochie Pens is run by Akila with some occasional help, I think, from her husband, Nermal, who goes to shows and stuff. Well, there are two little boys. I'm sure they help so much, <laughs> I right? do not think that what? the kids help at all. <laughs> um. So... Uh, she started binding books. She got a book binder. Nice. Uh, this one's called Midnight Mirage. Let's see, do they have... How do I just find all of them? Yeah, yeah. So there's a whole bunch of different designs that we were looking at there. Florida Gators. Yeah, that's what I thought. But like... Oh, Florida Gators. Oh, Florida Gators. That's the that's the one that's blue and uh, blue and orange. Mm -hmm. Not Miami. Yeah. So that's what I was confused about. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, these are, uh, ones that they are, um, uh, they're binding. Which one do you like best, Dodd? Um, I think I like the top right best. The top right? Yes. Gilded flow? Yes. Same. I also like the bottom right, like the tile one's yep. fun. Also great. That's the one our friend, uh, John Albert got. Oh, okay. Yep. Do they um, have it in both? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see them. Yeah, they had a whole stand up yeah. thing of them. Well, these actually sold out by okay. like, they had mostly sold, I guess, it's only midday Saturday or something. I, I think see, these I were all gone. I was by on Sunday, so yeah. that's why. Well, this is the one I said I like the most, and I, th I guess people uh, watched the live stream and were like, I'm going to buy that one. So she mm -hmm. kind of sold out. I As like that the binding goes with the color in the middle. Yeah, she does a good job matching that stuff. So coil binding, their Tomoe River 52 GSM. I don't know which TR they are. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's wondering. new Tomoe. It's probably got to be new Tomoe, but I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I think she's actually sending us some because huh. she's like, uh, she's like, I'll send you some. And I'm like, I mean, if you want to, oh, I would I wonder, love to. Oh, they're going to Atlanta. I wonder if they're going to be biased again. I hope so. Yeah. They're very cool. Anyway, I like them. Go say hi to Smoothie. Tell them I said hi. Uh, they are good. Yeah, they're fun. Uh, orange and blue is a super common sports team combo. I don't know. I only know like those two, but I'm sure there's more. I like to learn bookbinding. Well, this is the easier version of bookbinding. This is not like threads and yeah. signatures and all that. This is yeah. coils. Um, but uh, yeah. So yeah, but I really like these two a lot. that's still more than I can do. If it's the easiest and the hardest, I mm -hmm. can't do any of it. <laughs> so yeah. so more I don't, power to them. I don't know if she's printing the covers or if she's ordering mm -hmm. them. I don't know what the, yeah. the deal is, but I know that, um, you know. I know they're pretty cool. So 20 bucks is. Yeah, you saw it in bad. person. So. Yeah, I saw them in person. They were very good. So, yeah, those are very good. Go say hi to them. Oh, Bell Blue's got one. Their packaging was excellent. Their service is so helpful. That's good. Nice. Yeah, I really like them. I like them a lot. Uh, the king size. What's this? Look at us. Oh. I feel like we're just being way too on track. I feel like, I like, what's going on here? You know? know? Like, we're talking about pens that we're talking about came pens. out. I know. You know? I know. We totally Well, are. it's only one of those things that we didn't really get much in the mail because we just went to the pen show, so. Yeah. I did get one thing. Oh, I put it over there very unhelpfully. I can get it. What All right. It? Grab the dark lilac from back there. Mm. There are actually two of them. Oh, his eye fell off again. This one does not want to stick. We might just have one googly eye. That might just be how it goes. Um... Yeah, the two that are unmarked but are purple on the top. Yeah. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I got that. I got that infamous LDL in the mail this week. Dark Light Light 2024 in the undamaged box. Uh, also, they're not that hard to. See. Well, yeah, this is like arrived that way uh, back in the day. Uh, the special edition ones have uh, purple all around them except for the top and front. The mm -hmm. regular one, all silver. Yeah. So you won't be you won't be fooled. Yeah. Uh, I did get a sweet package in the mail from Arizona. We'll totally like that soon. Um, also, the colors on the top are different. So there's that. So mm -hmm. uh, dark and lilac. Well, it's mm -hmm. definitely dark for sure. Yeah. Uh, it's also a different shade of purple. It's also yeah. a different shade of purple. Yeah, it's, so, it's also so, not the same. Let me see if I can find it. I definitely did some smears of this thing somewhere. Maybe. I have to do it again. I had I had my, my swatches of it, and I can't find them. I don't know where they went. They were in here. There's, there's original Dark Lilac. Tinder purple, summer purple. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know where it went. It's kind of, it's kind of gone missing. Hmm. So you know, what are you thinking about? That's weird. Oh, I know, right? No. I know. If they're releasing a pin set in dark lilac with a new, one. you know, I don't know. I don't think so because um, they're adding it to the standard line, and they don't do pens for the standard line. So I kind of think the two that they just released, the pink cliff. And the violet blackberry, which Audrey has at work. Uh, I brought it home. Oh, you did? Well, well, which she it? has in no, you'll have to. Which she has in the other room. Those are both very nice, but I think those are the only limited editions we're getting. So it could be just in this big st big stack. Would of you like things. me to look through the stack? I mean if you want to. I mean I have eyes too, but okay. It's probably gonna be in there. Uh, anyway, these are like very different colors. You can make your own thread bound with all sorts of papers. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let me just do a little. Let me do a little quick swatch on here, cause why not, right? I've got it available, but they do look very different, as we will see here. This this pen right here, this very nice mint blue Twiz by Eco T, has the um, L D L twenty sixteen formula in it, which is this kind of dented one. I also put a little. Well, oh, just post a note on there saying which one, which this is. Good idea. Uh, live swatch, live swatch. Oh, we're swatching live. We got my very artisanally bent letter opener here by my good friend Chewy, who I meant to have bend some more letter openers for me in Baltimore, and then I completely forgot, forgot to do that. There's that one. Don't think I'll pre-order from Endless again unless it's really worth it. My special edition Lamy stuff still hasn't even shipped out yet. Yeah, that's the thing about Endless pens is their pre-orders do sometimes take a very long time to actually go. Um, it's cheaper, but you might have to wait for it. Sometimes so, you save a whole bunch of money. So if it's worth it to you, it's worth it, but sometimes it's not. You don't want to be in a hurry for it, yeah. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And then this one, which is a new uh, Twizby. Actually, this is something I got recently. This is the Twizby yeah, um, uh, Dark, Sapphire. Dark Sapphire. I have Dark Lilac in the Dark of course. Sapphire. Yeah. Oh, look at you. I know, right? Uh, I know. Uh, so this is L D L twenty twenty four, which they had a they, the the Lamy Global account on Instagram has had some really good posts lately. They've been really memeing about how they messed that they up. They must have had like, somebody new from since they got the new br new brand. They're probably like, no, we got someone else to go to the, to the Instagram. <laughs> maybe, to, maybe, but we need to capitalize on this well their instagram and youtube have always been a little bit wild so it hasn't been as meme -y as it is recently but meme -y. it's always been very uh very interesting but they had a bunch of those a uh, bunch of posts being like hey yeah we messed up we're sorry about that etc thanks for the support anyway which is cool and i'm into that and i was like yeah you know you could just change the name because it's not like it's on the bottles or anything they're like oh that's uh you know now we're now we're curious what you would call it i'm like oh well if you're asking what i would call it um, I have some suggestions. So, you got a pen in the mail from Chewy this week? That's not, fun. It's not in here. It's not in there? No. Well, it's not going to be back there. It'll only be in the front. It's not huh. in here. Where the heck did it go? Oh, here, it's right here. It's literally the second one. <sighs> as, I had gone past, like, we nice. started, it was last, or, yeah. So, as <laughs> it's drying, you can definitely see there's purple over here. Uh, but the rest of it is, as you can see there, gonna turn to sheen. 
So this is an extremely sheeny ink. Ah. I know. <laughs> so this is this is what it looks like. It's green. It's mostly fluorescent green. Yep. It's yeah. Mostly green. Yeah. So very fluorescent green. It's a nice ink to write with. It's a little bit on the wet side, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in my experience so far. But uh, I do quite Actually, like I haven't it. used that one. I've been using Blackberry, which seems nicely flowy. Yeah, Blackberry is also yeah. a little bit wetter, too. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's what I noticed. Blackberry is also mostly sheen, but it's a whole different color of sheen. It's like a bronzy sheen yeah. instead of this bright green. Whereas the original had some sheen, but it was a little bit more yellow, and it was yeah. not nearly as intense. So it was intense sheen for 2016. Yeah. But not for for now, like this would barely register as sheen. Like yeah. it depends on which like one of my swatches barely even got sheen. Yeah. So these are swatches from back in the day on Mormon word cards. These yeah. aren't even Colodex yeah. cards because it's so long ago. Uh, and so I had a couple of ideas and one of them was uh, was Oxalis. And like that seems like that seems pretty good. And um, actually, let's see if they ever let's see if they ever replied to my to my post because I posted about it because I always think of like Oxalis as being like a purple plant. But there's actually, come on. Wow, it's really. It's lagging. It's really taking its sweet time. You're going to show me a picture? Goodness. There is an oxalis that is like this. Look at that. Ready? Look at that. Eh? Uh -huh. Eh? Eh? Could it be any more uh, per perfect? They should change the name. Huh? But that's or, not the normal oxalis, though. That's a certain one. Usually it's, it's a purple. variety, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And now you can see there is a gold sheen a little bit on that top one. But it's very, it's much more purple uh, than this one ends up being. Even in the writing bit. Oh. I know. I need to put something on this. The only problem with this flashlight is it's slippery. I drop it mm -hmm. so often. Uh, but even the, the writing bit is very, very sheeny. And not very purple. So yeah, very different color, all that jazz. But yeah, apparently they don't make that red anymore. Yeah. So, you know, they did what they could. So I'm not gonna blame them too hard. You know, it's kind of the way it goes. But I do a, I do blame them for naming the same thing. Yeah, they that's the only that's different. the only thing I have an issue with. Yeah. I want to see another cool thing. Uh what color would you say this ink is, Audrey? It's gonna be different on the screen. Nope. No, it's the same. What color would you say this ink is? That is. You don't just uh, you know colors. What color is it? <laughs> terracotta. Okay, I was just looking for orange. Simple orange would have got, would have done fine. <laughs> You're really, really trying to I don't know be fancy well, about yeah, it. I mean, yeah, no, this is a maybe pink. it's a little too poor. This yeah. ink is pink. Okay. Uh, as you can see, like down there in that bottom corner, right there. But the sheen is what causes it. I think it's actually turn. pink. It's just got so much sheen mm -hmm. that yeah. it turns orange. Or it's taupe, yeah. It's definitely a taupe for sure. But like, that's actually all sheen. That's why I was trying to tilt it towards me. And then you're like, no, just say what it is. Just I'm like, I just wanted to see what it looked like. And <laughs> just say the word. Just the say the word. The sheen was throwing me off. Yeah. So, yeah, it's actually pink. Octopus Fluids P Phoenix. I got to put that in a, gotta put that in a pen. Mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. done it yet. I there were some really cool octopus fluids that when I was writing with them in the um, five-year journals. Yeah. Uh, I had to write a note on here. This is pink with gold sheen. Okay. Because otherwise, yeah. Yeah. orange. It's going to go in the orange. Actually, it's going to go in the heck and sheeny section. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There's yeah. that one. There's that one. All right. Well, that's down. You want to see what, uh, what Dustin sent? Sure. Since, you know, Dustin's here. Yeah. He knows when his kid will wake up. Who knows? Firstly. At any time. Look at this, this fun thing on here. It says thank you and the top says open me up here. What? Why is he thanking you? I don't know. Huh? Well, we didn't do anything, that's for sure. I was like, D don't show us the address, jeez. There's also <laughs> this very cool stamp. Oh, that's fun. Is that an honest stamp? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely an honest stamp with the owls. Mm -hmm. Super yeah. fun. Like Rushi Imitite is metallic, not red. Yeah. I think. Oh, no, the baby's awake. Shh, be quiet. The baby's awake. Well, we'll, um, we'll hush. We got this stuff. We got this very nice seal oh, here. Oh, that's a fun seal. Look at the fun hands. Right? Yep. A little alien or something with, with crabby hands. Look at my hands. Look at my crabby hands. Look at your nails. Your nails look cool, too. It sort of goes with it as well. A little, a little bit. bit. A little bit. 
the wet pin deception pass and vizier meteor shower is what he was writing in apparently yeah, also has a, cool. a letter here that i haven't opened actually oh. so i'll do that we so, will take it easy eating some, pizza some very nice stickers that's a fancy that's a scientific dog if i've ever seen one that's a science dog <laughs> That's a science dog. Here we go. <laughs> here we got, uh, I think you're overreacting. Nice. Science joke. Science jokes for days. Love it. Because science? Science. Love it. It's going to have to go on stuff. Yep. Oh, look at that cute cat. A very nice cat. Smiling. Science dog. <laughs> science dog. It's even got, uh, it's even got boots. It's gotta have the he's gotta have the latex gloves, gotta have the safety glasses. And safety boots. You can't be walking yeah. around barefoot in a lab. No. It's not okay. I had to kick out many students for having shorts or sandals on. Yeah. What kind of ink looks like those nails? I can only think of one. Um and it's the um it also actually kinda looks like this. Um but it's the um dominant industry uh, uh -huh. mirror or whatever mm -hmm. they call it. And don't put that in a fountain pen. Yeah. You'll have bad times. The lab coat sort of looks like a like a long guy's t-shirt, like not t-shirt, but a button-up shirt, just because it's on a dog and not, There's, you know. Well, they don't make a lot of science apparel. They do. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a real, it's a real yeah. hole in the market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you wear Crocs in the lab? No, I would not be advised, yeah. unless it's like one of the bistro ones that don't have the holes. If mm. they don't have holes, then you could. Mm. So this is uh, the wet pen. Rainier Blue. We were looking at these oh, online. Oh, those seems to samples of those. Yeah. It'd be helpful if I can talk. Because I was going to get them, yeah. and he's like, oh, they're sold, sold out. out. And I'm like, oh, well, then I'll just wait. That's fun. And he's like, no, I will send you samples. And he did. So. That's uh, nice. Elliot Bay from the Wet Pen. The Wet Pen is a guy with a YouTube channel. Yeah. Makes really good YouTube videos. I got to say, videos. they're very good. Yeah. Uh, good production. Up in the Pacific Northwest area. Yep, for sure. Did Inkvent with like art every day. I don't um, know how he had the time for that. Right. I for sure do not. And there's Deception will pass. Fun. So yeah, those are fun. Real fun. Those it's are exciting. fun. Thank you, Dustin. Yeah. What did I do with this? Um, oh, there's Lummy Dark yeah. Lilac is finally has dried there. So much green. I will say I don't think the sheen uh, smears. So, I haven't noticed that either. On the, when I was using the BlackBerry, that had yeah, of even shit. on your cards and stuff. I didn't notice any. Nice. Those cards are very um, coated. Uh, yeah, very coated. Nothing yeah. soaks in. So, uh, yeah, labs are scared of cat scans. Mm. I visit Deception Pass all the time. You mean just you're a liar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Well, it doesn't mean that I <laughs> I lie, but I'm lied to by oh. you as far as I'm oh, lying. Is that not right? that I'm I would not lie. I'm we both never. know we both know that um <laughs> I I'm not good at I'm not a I'm not a, I'm not a liar. We both. We both know. Also look at all this science that was on there. It's a lot of science. Yeah. I can add it to my science ball. Mike has a science ball. This is um what do you call this stuff? Parafilm. Parafilm uh uh, what cool was that? He wasn't sure the inks were even going to sell, and this might have been his first and final batch. Oh, I see. Oh, what was cool? I see. I can't read. Um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty neat. I mean, I don't think I would have bought all of them just because when he was doing samples of them, they all, like, a lot of them looked, like, fairly similar-ish. The pair of films, for sure. This yeah. is a, um, essentially wax. And so you can stretch it. It comes in a tape form. Uh, we also use it in gardening for things like uh, propagation or air layering for getting roots to to grow. Or uh, if you're making apple trees, you got to like splice in other apples mm -hmm. or else you just end up with crab apples mm -hmm. or horse apples. And those are gross. And nobody wants to eat them. Yeah. So every every apple you've ever had is a mm -hmm. is a GMO it essentially. Is. So, uh, yep. um, but yeah, you use this parafilm for it because it's like. Yep. non-toxic won't hurt the plant yeah. or parafilm is good for lots of things parafilm is pretty great and if you wrap it around the outside of these it'll keep them from uh from leaking so and even if it does leak it will it'll stay with it. it contain within the the yeah. threading of that uh, one thing you don't want to do is put it between the threads and the cap yeah uh, it's not good for that no. and in fact like plumber's tape isn't good for that either just yeah. don't do that at all yeah um where am 
my octopus went. So I'll use this very nice cat. Are you going to show that? Show what? Oh, I was going to show this, oh, okay. but not yet. Okay. Um, so let's do a little swatchy swatch of these for funsies. I'm not going to write with them just because I don't have water in here for that. And you don't have water. So there's a deceptional pass. There's that. Clean this off real good. Wet pinks are so good. That's good. I'm glad. Uh, so you're saying the parafilm won't leach into the ink before you drink it? Nope. Should be good. It should still taste uh, normal. <laughs> We've got... Uh, so is he making these inks or he commissioned them? I don't actually remember the whole story. This... I just said he some, they said that they were making them. I thought. I, I just don't remember. Parafilm, as far as I know, it's non-toxic. Mm -mm. Uh... I mean, I wouldn't say eat it necessarily, but... I mean, yeah, yeah. Para, it's paraffin, and you can have paraffin wax to buckeyes and chocolates to make them not melt. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think... You'd probably be fine. I mean, don't, a lot of it, don't listen to us. If you do it and it's bad, don't... We didn't I mean, a lot of it lives, it lives in labs, so, like, yeah. that's your... <laughs> I think that's your uh, main danger. There's uh -oh. a... Uh-oh, better hurry up and close that. Because of that. <laughs> Don't step on that nose. Like, but I want to step on it. Oh. Uh, All right, we're going to keep these in order or else I won't know what they are. So we'll let those dry, but they do look very nice. These are good looking inks. These yeah. all look very different. Mm -hmm. so. Obviously, these two are a little bit closer yeah. than those, but, still. but they're still very different colors, yeah. I think. Actually, you can see some of the multi-chrome in this one. You've seen some like goldish yellow up around the edges. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. These look cool. Thanks yeah. for sending those out. Yeah. And also I sent this paper, and I don't know a whole lot about this paper, but I I keep hearing about it. And that is Eroful. You could have just sent me like a couple of sheets, yeah. my guy. You didn't have to send me a whole pad. That was super yeah, generous. He's gonna give you an Eroful about sending the whole pad. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. He made them, huh? That's cool. Yeah, well, that's cool. Sounds like a lot of work. Um so Eroful. Oh, these are loose leaf. <laughs> uh oh, oh no. Woo! Uh, oh, it's dotted. It's dotted, yeah. It's only dotted on one side. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So if you don't want dots, you can have... It does say loose sheets. And it a, does say that there. dot grid. Right, draw, unleash the brilliance of color. The feel of gliding. With all the vibrance and subtlety of I your like ink I the feel colors. of gliding. Who doesn't like the feel of gliding, you know? In the favor yeah. of blue nose prints all over the place. Oh, man. Don't like dot grid, and you just got it in, got it in an ink journal box. Oh. oh, you got this in an ink journal box. Oh, interesting. Mm. Yeah, I haven't been able to get a hold of any of this stuff. So, thank I Look, Mike's Home for Wayward, pa Wayward, Wayward Papers and Inks is uh, open to all comers. So, um, feel free to <laughs> throw those in the mail if you want. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I get to play with this, because I keep hearing That was a it. huge yawn, Mr. Nose. Wow. It you're doing, was. You're doing very good yawns. It was. I saw every. He's like he thought about it. Tooth. Uh, you write to me on this paper usually. Oh look at that. Mm -hmm. Ruth usually writes on this. Uh, you put it in your plotter. Yeah, I can totally put it in my plotter. Just uh, hit it with the six hole punch. Oh my goodness, another one. Hey bud, can I use my desk? No. Would he says okay? I want to sit on your chest. Not mine. That's that's not what he wants. <sighs> All right. Here you go. You can. Uh, you should write on it. Oops. I was like, that's not You it. should write on it. What am I writing? I don't know. Whatever you want. With what? I don't know. Whatever pen you want to grab. Grab one of those Lemmy Dark Lilacs. This cat. He did want to be on my he did want to be on my shoulder slash chest yep. area. She said she's heard it's like uh it's like uh, Cosmo Airlight. Which is interesting. There's not that much as like Cosmo. Jet pens carried earful. Yeah, I've seen it. I just haven't um Usually when I go to look for it, it's not uh, it's not available. Like it's sold out or something. So I haven't really had a chance to get it. Or at least when I go to buy stuff, it's been sold out. So I haven't had a chance. Mr. Nose is the best cat. Just look at his tail. Yeah. He does have an excellent tail. Probably the best tail in the house, I would say. Yeah. It's Blackberry. It's the tail. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I, definitely I heard will. a stomach growl. Amazon has it too. Oh, interesting. I never looked for it on Amazon. You can I already see the, the sheen. Yeah, you can definitely see the sheen on there. And my angle, I just see the purple. Really? I don't see any sheen from me looking forward that's, the side. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't see it at all. 
I don't have anything with uh, Saba Midori in it at the moment. What? I know. That would be I an interesting way to test how, how pal-like it is. Uh, six of seven, legally allowed to talk about food. Yep, that's true. Nice. What? What's the What's the food? Uh, yeah, what kind of food do you want to talk about, Bijou? Uh, does he know he has an excellent tail? Oh, I think he knows. He knows about his uh, widespread excellence and elegance, don't you, my guy? Yes, he does. He's a very good boy. Would you like a treat? Hmm? I have a cat treat here for you if you'd like one. Would you eat it on my shoulder? A little shoulder treat? Here you go. considering tasting it so new and old i think he can see the the difference already <laughs> majestic tail best tail in the house all of that is true do you like that treat are you looking for for a way to get down now you're a good boy i love you lots Mwah, thanks for visiting mr nose will be 19 in there's, june nose there's the group they all say hi say hi nose look at them toe beans it's got very hi, good nose. beans as well hi everybody my nose. Oh, yeah, fur all over you. Yeah, that's the way it goes. I locked the focus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, How did it feel to write on? It's very smooth. Mm. Yeah, so there you can see where the difference is. But go that way. Not as just, much. Just darker. Yeah. Interesting. Which one do you like more? Which ink do I like more? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like the original for its purpleness. Yeah. It's definitely got a lot more purpleness in it than the other one does. Yeah. Did it feel good to ride on? Yeah. You go. Go, go for it. But yeah, I, it's felt very nice. Tax write-off. <laughs> What's a write-off, Mr. Nose? I think you just write everything off as a business expense, right? <laughs> Who pays for it? Nobody. Nobody. You just write it off. off. What was that from? <laughs> that was from... Um... Workaholics? No, 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 um... no. It was from um, the one with Eugene Levy and his son. Um... Sh uh, Shit's Creek. Yeah, Shit's Creek. Yeah, it does feel kind of uh, soft and a little pillowy like uh, like Cal did. It doesn't have like... Cal had kind of a weird resistance to it. Yeah, I don't feel any um, I don't feel any of that there. It feels pretty good, actually. I, I like yeah, it. I, think it's nice. I like it. Yeah. It's nice. BB Sig. This is an ink that can be a little bit on the bleedy side. Yeah. Mm. That's good uh, to know. Give it a that little helps. bit of a, yeah. yeah, especially in this size. This is um, this is actually a Tasha, and it's a little bit bleedy. It's that uh, Corinth pink one that uh, I got for myself and Rewill there. Tasha has good inks. Uh, yeah, really good. This one tends to be a little bleedy at this size. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, Chest Creek is a good show. It was a really good show. Yeah. Yeah. Feels nice. No bleed no. through. Barely any show through. Actually. Yeah. That's, not much. That's part of good. Yeah. Feels nice. I'm a. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. It has a little bit of a. I can I can feel the paper a little bit, you know. It's got like a little bit of a catch. Like it's not super like coated feeling, you know. Uh, it's yeah. like super slick. Yeah. It's kind of like got a little bit of resistance. Oh, we got some Barahe here as well. We got some Barahe on here. Definitely a brighter purple. Yeah, yeah. Barahe and uh, LDLs are not at all alike. They're very different purples. I might have to get some Barahe to compare to the. Uh, that color verse one from True Fay, yeah. or I mean, get some True Fay just to just compare, compare, you know, and just for science. Oh, okay. Yeah, no other okay. reason. Uh, not because I like True Fay yeah. or I think it's cool looking or whatever, but and you just write it off. I did get a couple of things I'm just going to write off today. I'm just going to yeah. write it off. Yeah, yeah, you should. So. They're definitely work expenses. Yeah. Um, is it still blinking? Still blinking. I guess that means it's still charging. Either that or it's done. I actually don't know. I don't, I didn't read the instructions. Uh, I got some of these today. So this is going to be uh, used for my, well, I have some video projects that are really, this is going to be really helpful for, but also um, uh, for my live streams. So this is from Rode. These are wireless. Everyone knows Rode audio things. They probably do at this point. Most, yeah. most people do at least. So yeah, these are, <laughs> these are uh, the Rode wireless go or Rode wireless pro is what these are called. Oh, look at you. You're turned on there. Poke this. I make it turn off. There we go. But yeah, it does have a little, does have a little thing there. These are wireless microphones. 
two of them and also a, uh, a wireless receiver, which is gonna be very handy. I can hook the receiver up to my phone. I can have the, the one of the microphones on me. They have little clips actually on there. There's also like little magnets if you just wanna magnet it to yourself. Mm -hmm. It comes with a pair of really good uh, lavalier mics. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they're rechargeable in this like cool case that has like two or three charges in it. And each one of these is supposed to be good for like seven hours wow. before that's charging nice. it in the case. So that's pretty good. Like it's got like 32 bit float recording, which is more recording power than you can hear with the human ear. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it should be really good. Um, hopefully it'll be a nice upgrade for, uh, for pin show audio. They actually make a little like, uh, like a stick essentially you can put them on, yeah. like use it like as a microphone for like yeah. doing interview stuff. So I'm kind of envisioning um, using a lavalier for myself and using like the stick thing, like putting people's mm -hmm. faces. Because a lot of it people was, say they have hard hard time hearing, talking, echoing, and yeah, yeah, I have a hard time hearing other people. So do you know cool. that uh, Greg works for the IRS? Yes, that means you know that's how we just write things off. Because obviously yeah. you're a professional, you know you just write things off. I don't think that's the I don't think that's where Greg works. Also, Greg's retired. <laughs> so he's, not full of me sir he did that for so long he knows oh, that everything's yeah. written off uh yeah well look if they're gonna if they're gonna make me pay taxes as a small business uh as a streamer um then the stuff i use to stream is a is a tax write-off so uh, john you want to know what these swatches were these are the wet pen oh yeah um inks. from the wet pen these actually looked look really cool let me um Write them down. Deception Pass. Audrey Pass. Rainier Blue. How do you spell Rainier? Rain Ear. I E R. R A N I E R. R A I N. I said Rain I E R. Rainier Blue. Yep. And Elliot. Oops, Bay. Bay. I actually like the bottom one better than I thought it was after it dried. Yeah, it looks way different than it did. Yeah, I yeah. like the dusty. No, I mean, the top and bottom are both dusty, but I like that the, the top one is more green based, and I like that the contrast more in the bottom one mm -hmm. with the blue and the green. Yeah, Deception Pass is a real place. I, these are all real yeah. places up near um, yeah. where that guy lives. Yeah, these look really good. Yep. Actually, these two ended up looking much more alike than these two did, you know? In the end, yes. That's... That's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool effect. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, also, this blue that I wrote with is from our boy Sugar Turtle Tom over here. Oh, is that one of them? I haven't yep, used it's it yet. Cold blooded. Which I, in my Instagrams, it's right there by your hand. Just move your hand forward. Nope, forward from where it was. Literally just forward. Put your hand back where it was. Let's move it forward. Keep going. Keep going. It's right on top of your hand. Look where your knuckles are. Oh my goodness, look right past your hand. It's right there. <laughs> oh. You meant up. You went forward, I went like, up. It's like right here. Right here, I'm like, look at your was, knuckles. And she's like, down yeah, here? He no. said forward, and I'm going forward yeah. instead of up. No, well, you just need to look it's right up. Your knuckle. Is I like, was not looking touch, up. Her, she was no. in contact with it. <laughs> I so. was not looking up. I <laughs> was... <laughs> you... <laughs> Oh man. Uh, so yeah, on my Instagram, I kept calling this cold hearted or cold oh, heart. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, Cause it's warm blooded yeah. or it's cold yeah. blooded and warm heart. And so yeah. I kept transposing them cause I was in a super hurry when I was leaving for work and stuff. It's, so so that's the, that's the pink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is blue that I was writing with here. It's a delightful blue. Yeah. Very nice. And actually quite a lot different from any of these, <laughs> any of these mm -hmm. other blues. Yeah. I know nice. and all the turtles wept. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> pet the turtles for me. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. Oh, uh, yeah, these all look good, so. I dig it. Yep. I can dig it. Yep. Actually, does this, line, does this thing have like a, no, a Q&A? They need to have a giveaway raffle thing. No, they but do not. End poll. End poll. Keep ending it. Oh. Maybe I hadn't ended it, and that's why I hadn't showed up? Oh. Who oh. knows? I don't know. Shades of Patrick Star on, uh, on the lid? I don't know what that means. And the lid. I, that's after my time. I'm too old for... That's Spongebob, obviously. Yeah, I'm too old for Spongebob. I, I've never watched the show. I don't have any I'm real... I'm a bit too old for it. If you're this... too old, I'm, I'm also too old for it. Though. Well, I'm older than you are. But yeah. I think it was just after your time, so... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
uh super blurple i really enjoyed it it's a good blurple i don't know mm-hmm. i think it's i think it's more like a straight up blue actually all right let's see how it looks on this Eurofull stuff yeah, it's like a little purpley when you put down a bunch of it it's true it's more blue in person yeah, it's got, a little bit more. It's a little bit on the purpley side, but there's a little like, bit. It's not like yeah, yeah. rahe, obviously, but yeah, it's not a straight up blue. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You know what, Denise, you're right. Yeah. Purpley. Yeah. So yeah, I dig it. I think this paper is cool. I think the uh, inks that are uh, that we got here are cool. Yeah. These are that Elliot Bay is is really kind of calling to me. I gotta yeah. put it in something. Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. I gotta put it in something. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's more purpley before it dries. Maybe, that can get, maybe one of these needs to go in here. That mm. would sort of be fitting. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. I'm surprised you haven't inked it yet. I haven't decided what ink to put in. Yeah. Actually, I brought this one over because I was thinking maybe it would get this one, which I don't know what the name is because there's no English on here. I think I put it on a post-it note. This is Puka Puka. Puka Puka. Onomatopoeia. Puka Puka. Yeah, these are the onomatopoeia inks from... Um... Nagasawa. I mean, uh, no, no, no that's right. Kyo- oh, is it? Yeah, oh, I guess it is Nagasawa and it's yep. Kobe. Yeah. Yep, not Kobe. It's Nagasawa's yeah. onomatopoeia. So I think it may be that, but I don't, I don't know. know. Now I have those. I feel like you might have these wet pen ones. There. Yeah, yeah, I might do that. So yeah. So anyway, that's what we got going on. There's Katie. There's Katie. Facts. Yep. Um, I was looking at. I was putting stickers on my journal earlier today because uh-huh. I'm using up stickers. Wow, look at you. I know, and I was looking through my sticker box, which is very full, uh, and I started serious. noticing that there are a lot of these things in there that I haven't been pulling out of the sticker packs from Sticky. Uh, so a lot of like. There's like little note cards and there's Uh writing pads and there's like postcards and stuff. And so like I reduced the thickness of that box by this much. That's I haven't even taken all of them out yet. I was just going through pulling some of them. I know. And also some very fun bookmarks. Like these are cool. Yeah. Sometimes I need a bookmark. This is obviously my favorite. That's cute. Because it's red pandas. Yeah. And also a worm. And a book. And that book is also a red panda. Is that a, is that a rabbit? A mochi? Is it like a, a mochi I rabbit? A, I think, yes. Okay. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Katie. How are you doing? She says hi. Yep. So I've been pulling those out. It's kind of a little bit of a project. I've also been writing a, an article that y'all will be seeing soon. I'm very excited about it, actually. Um, yeah. I've, I've been learning all kinds of fun things uh, in writing that article. Uh, and uh, it's been it's been pretty cool. I've been, I've been learning a lot of stuff. So... Uh, about pen physics about pen physics yeah Goldspot wanted me to write an article about like how fountain pens work and I was like oh yeah sure no problem and I started thinking about like do I actually know how fountain pens work and so I started talking to some folks including uh somebody who's got a PhD in like fluid dynamics essentially yeah. uh and some people who are like experts at like the physics of nibs mm-hmm. uh and not just like you know the the like the tip but like the whole system Mm-hmm. So I've been writing, I've been writing cool stuff. Capillary action is only, it turns out like the beginning of the story. Yeah. Um, there is more stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll tell you when the article gets published. I'll, I'll post it in a couple of places when it gets published. And even as a nib person, that's different. I mean, yeah. you have to know angle. It's more angular than it is fluid. Yeah. You're dynamic. doing like shaping and stuff, but not like the, the physics to of it. To get there, like yeah. you can shape it that way, but to actually get it to that area, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's more yeah. than I thought. Yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to right now balance the uh, the hard physics with the like I don't want to get too too crazy deep for this particular <laughs> post. I'll probably end up making a video about it at some point. You so. just write a book on it. I am not the person to write a book on it, but okay. uh, I might make a video at some point. <laughs> um, somebody's gonna write a book on it. It's not gonna be me. Okay. Uh, but I did. Uh, I had gotten to talk to some people. Um, that I'm pr- I was pretty psyched about it. I had, I had such some good experts. Yeah, I was talking to some experts, and I was actually so keyed up after talking to this one expert yesterday. Audrey came home. She's like, "Time for a nap." I'm like, "I can't. You got to go." I I'm can't. Writing this. I like, I got to get this down. My brain's buzzing. I can't. I <laughs> can't was. right now. So, and she, I'm like, I'm trying to. I've got like this crazy page of notes I was taking while I was like talking to him about it. And I'm like trying to like co- make it into a cohesive thing. And she's just like standing back there. I'm like, no, really, you got to go. And she's like, I can't stand here. I'm like, no, it's yeah. too distracting. You yeah. got to go. Just me standing in the room. Okay. He was like, you just need to get out of this room. I'm you, sorry. You just got to go. I'll, yeah. I'll come take a nap when I can, but I cannot now. You have to go. So uh, do a deep dive on it somewhere. Yeah, maybe so. Well, service tension is part of capillary action, actually. But like, no, there's another th- there's another thing. 
that I'm like, oh yeah, how did I never think of that? So you can yeah. make it a series, like a short series, or like a three parter or something, if you wanted. For videos? Or for videos or for a writing mm. thing, you know? I don't know. I don't think it needs to be that deep, but like, yeah. I mean, anyway, it's gonna be fun. I so. don't feel like there's not there's not much known about or talked about in that. Yeah. In the social media yeah, slash YouTube true. sphere. I'm sure there are some historic articles and things like that. So apparently there are. Uh, yeah. this, this friend of mine was uh, uh, was like, "Oh, there is this like there are a couple of uh, like WordPress things you can find. But, like there's a lot of math on them, like some crazy math and stuff like that." I'm like, well, well, I don't know if I have yeah. the maths. Maybe I do. Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> so anyway, mozzarella sticks, mac and cheese bites. What are we doing? Deep dive on, on macaroni and, and cheese. Okay, that sounds great. I, know. I started reading it before it came up here. The thing I'm always griping at you about. Yeah, I did yeah. it. I did yeah. it this time. Yeah. And I don't um, complain about it. I'm okay with, you know, I, know. I go with the flow. You don't, you don't Lots go with the flow sticks, as much. Mac and cheese bites and jalapeno poppers are on sale. Which one should you get? I always go for mozzarella sticks. I don't really like jalapeno poppers. Mm -mm. And I'm ambivalent about mac and cheese bites. Like they can be good, but I think they're easy to mess up. Yeah. I don't I like think the ceiling is high, but the floor is very low. I'm not a fan of cream cheese, so jalapeno poppers, not for that reason, I'm out. A lot of times they'll put like uh, like nacho cheese or on. not. See, I, still, it's just not my thing. Yeah, it's too, it's, it's gooey. It's the wrong consistency for me. And mac and cheese bites, yeah, it can get too greasy, which I understand they're fried, but... Yeah, I feel like the mm. the timing of when they're good is short lived, mm. more so. Mm. And mozzarella sticks, I just yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. You watch a video of me explaining math. Oh man, that would be a very sad. That would be a sad video. <sighs> Actually, before I made a video on it, like I would have it down, so I, that mm -hmm. would be fine. But I also don't yeah. really want to do that. But maybe one of these days. Do a series include scientific demonstrations, giving you an excuse to wear a lab coat. Oh, if I had, a, I have to get Audrey to bring home a lab coat. I mean, I have um, lab coats in my. Closet. Nice. No fried food for decades. Uh, I cannot say the same. A I mean, TikTok I don't series. Eat that oh, much TikTok fried food. Really, no, we don't. Eat, we don't eat that much fried. Honestly, food. we don't really. I mean, if we do any frying, we do air frying with no oil at all. So yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Not. Yeah, I'm too like, I don't know, kind of lazy to to fry yeah. stuff at home. I'm not gonna deal with oil and. Yeah. It's just not I, my thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. For me, it'd be mozzarella sticks. That's that's my jam. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone in the chat, please tell me what inks you swatched. Oh, those are the wet pen. Uh, it's called the wet pen. Let me see if I can find uh, his site here. He's got a really good YouTube channel, which I will also give you. I got the wet pen dot com. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. I think it's the same guy. That is a hell of a link there, Google. Yeah, this is definitely the same dude. So you can find, I uh, imagine, all of his socials from here. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's an ink and pen and such reviewer from the Pacific Northwest, I believe. Makes some really high quality videos. I'm, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I, I like his stuff. He does yep. good work. Also, he made some inks, and these are them. Yep. So uh, let's see if he's got. Uh, well, he's got a lot more. He's got a lot better um, like organization than I ever do for this stuff. For paper <laughs> shop. Uh, yeah, there they are. 15 bucks a piece. I think they're probably sold. I thought there were four of them for some reason. I guess there's only three. I thought there were three. But no, I you're right. Know. There are only three. Yeah, they're all sold out. But you can sign up for a back in stock. Yeah, email when back in stock. Mm -hmm. If they do. I don't know. If they, I mean, I hope they do. They sold out, it seems like, fairly quickly. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. Wet, wet paintings were also impressively packaged, foil stamping, oh. etc. Wow. That's nice. nice. Yeah. Bijou, have fun at the pharmacy. Definitely oh. get yourself some cheese sticks. Yeah. Uh, Always refer to it as the the great PNW. Okay. Oh, uh, I'll try. Um, his infant videos are the best. Yeah, the infant videos were very good. Um, definitely more work than mine. And like, <laughs> in fact, I went when I found his. Uh, I went and commented on some. I'm like, these are these are amazing. Uh, it's a ton of work. Ask me how I know. <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, no, I watch yours too. But he's like doing art and stuff. I'm like, Well, that's that's hard. I, don't I did any... a lot of work at one time. I had to I had to unpackage all of them in one sitting. That's not fun. Yeah. That's a not fun part of the ink vent. Yeah. 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 Um, just to wait for their uh, chips for dinner. Now I need to wait for my mouth to degrease before eating the evening ice cream. <laughs> I can't find who said that. Uh, Carol's got high Rock cholesterol. Uh, a lot of that is just uh, straight up genetics, unfortunately. 
uh, get a seam ripper for them. It says Bee Haven. I ended up using a knife. Yeah, no. seam ripper would be safer, I think. Yeah. You probably even have a seam ripper in your like little sewing kit. Probably. I didn't. It's got a little know. pitchfork type thing. Yeah, yeah. I, that probably would really work. Matthew the Wet Pen told me he was blown out by how fast they sold and likely to make more. I hope so. I hope so. Because uh, I think they're great. I mean, they look really good. Uh, so after 6 o'clock, can you show and tell your little flashlight again? Oh. Um, yeah, sure. This is my little flashlight. That's my cat butt right there. That's your cat butt? Well, it's a wow. cat butt. Okay. Let me uh, find a link for you. My orders. I've had it for a while. Let's see. Flash light. Mm, not those. Nope, it's not those. Let's try L U M I N T O P. There we go. Ordered in 2019. Yeah, <laughs> 2019 apparently. This is pre pandemic. Yep. Uh, oh, it's got this little, I forgot this. It's got this little diffuser thing that comes with it, actually, too. It just kind of pops on over the front mm -hmm. so it doesn't get glare. And also this glows in the dark when you oh, turn the light off, nice. which is handy. Yeah. yeah, so this was 20 bucks or something. I'm going to be a little. What? Products one of the Amazon Associates program excluded products. Don't support direct linking to it. Oh, weird. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well. well. I mean, that's fine. Just how do I... Just take this. Yeah. Copy. That's weird. Weird. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever, man. Oh uh, yeah, that's the that's the thing there. So. Waterproof too. Oh yeah, how about that? Yeah. So they have a, there are a couple of different varieties of like um, emitter for this one. So I got the IYP one, but there's also the Nichia. RA uh, thing. So, all right. Or is this the Nuchia? This must be the Nuchia. Oh, the Cree is the other one. The Cree is a bright white version. Mm. This one's the high CRI, which is color rendering index. So, yup. So, you want to do outdoor activities, get the really bright one, but it's mm. also going to change the color of things. Yeah. So, it's this one does not so much. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's real easy. It's got like, you know, just a, a regular old battery, just the like AAA's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing weird. Um, huh, waterproof. Forgot about that. I am going to wrap something around it though, I think, to give me some grip cuz I do keep I do keep dropping, dropping it pretty much every time I pick it up, which yeah. is annoying. But a little grip tape or something, I think will fix that. So yeah, there you go. That's what the flashlight is. It's pretty good. Hope he does more colors. Hope so too. This cat is sprawled out. She she fully is. You can't even tell. She she goes all the way. Yeah. Just a, just There's a whole entire cat there. She's happy. Knocked over an ink. There's a dollar bill over there. Yeah. They're gonna get up now, huh? Since you got called out for sprawlings. Hopefully you can hear some of her purrings. She's been hunting the TV a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Every time we turn the TV on for anything, she just goes nuts and is like, I can paw anything up there just in case. Yeah. Drew. Drew, Aww. thank you for the dollar. For the black cat. Is that for Katie? Thank Aww. you very much. Really thank appreciate you, that. Uh, you need to clean out a couple of pens before you go to bed, but will you? I don't know. I need to do that, too, actually. Yeah, I have time. one for you to. I pretty much out of that blackberry ink. Honestly. Oh, no, there's one more uh, for me to clean. Uh, we we are unique to enjoy the same interests, Audrey. I don't I know did. if that's true. Is that true? I also, look over Audrey's shoulder. Nope, the other shoulder. That one. Lower that shoulder. Oh, there she is. She was standing up when I started saying it. She laid down. She's uh, she was creepering back there in the hallway. Scraggles. There's a scraggly dog. So. She's like, what? When are we? Um, when are we gonna have pizza, though? I don't have an opinion on Amazon notebooks for sheening. Um, yes, actually, I do. Let me uh, see. They're in my cart because I'm always waiting for them to go back on sale. Katie, uh, okay, what are you doing over there? Yeah, she's just purring at things. She's just purring at things. They're called Usari. 
You're sorry. You're sorry. Uh. Huh. Weird. I don't think I took them out of my my stuff. But Can I'm not... you look under the thing here? Oh, I don't know. You see when it says says anything useful? No. Oh. Five dollars. Oh, Why? Well, thank thank you, you. I thought it was the other Drew now, and now it's back to the. It, I thought it would show for the other oh, one, but there they are. To make up for your other pets that aren't there, specific. Aw. Aw, oh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Let me give you Aww. this one. I can actually give you an affiliate link for. It's much shorter. It doesn't take up as a room. That's kind of why I use them. But also, like they throw me a few pennies. Uh, yeah, these are "You Sorry" by Nakabayashi, and uh, these come straight from Japan. Oh wow! But thirteen dollars. Oh, it's are... bigger than I thought. I was like, "Is it gonna be cheap?" Or no, like, it's not an, no, it's an A5, and it's got a lot of pages. Um, this is just a very low price. These are much more expensive in the U.S. This is just straight from, straight from, uh, from there. Oh. Significant paper there. Yeah, this is good paper. Uh, I like it a lot. Pretty sure it's good at sheen. Let me put a little sheen on here just to make sure. Actually, there's some, there's some stuff. None of those were sheeny though. This one's a sheener. It's just stuff I tried out on here for funsies. Whatever you had around. Just kind of like whatever was in front of me. Yeah, so <laughs> I stuck washi to it. I used stamps yeah. on it. It's uh, starting to come already. I yeah, guess. you can actually already see the sheen. Drew, can this little creeper dog back here have some crust? Actually, you know what? Maybe this isn't great for sheen. You can see a lot of purple there. It's a lot of purple. Yeah, actually. interesting. Yeah, maybe you don't get this one for sheen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe you don't get it for sheen. Might not be the one. Yeah, you see a little bit of sheen, but you can see a little bit of sheen on everything with this ink. So, yeah, never mind. Don't get that one for sheen. But if you want another notebook that is nice. <laughs> like, that, I, mean, I mean, it's very good at fountain no. pen ink. Like, nothing nothing comes through this. In fact, even this stamp barely came through. And stamps notoriously yeah. go through paper. So, yeah. So, not great for Sheen. Never mind. Don't get those. Not for Sheen. But they are really good. 13 bucks is very good. I think I got these at, like, maybe like 10 a piece or something like that. Or um, maybe I just got the blue one. And one, one of those given to me by, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. This one was given to me by Galen Leather. That's why, because this, uh, this one's blank, and the ones that they have are the, the grids. Yeah. So, gotcha. yeah, it's like ten bucks or something, and I'm like, well, for ten, ten bucks, I want to get it. So, but Nakama actually makes good paper. Um, I wouldn't get that one though. What else do they have on Amazon? I don't really buy paper on Amazon, so other people mm -hmm. might be able to give yeah. you a better, yeah. better call or advertising to me some Loitch term. But that's and... not really great at Sheen because it's absorbent too. No, it's not either. Yeah, um, Claire Fontaine. Claire Fontaine's good at Sheen. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, super, super it's, slippery coated. Yeah, but depending good on what you like about. If you like the coating that's on that, is all. Zequins are interesting, but they're not great at no, sheen. I don't think so. Zequins you can like roll up in a ball. Yeah. On a, a tube. Because I got one from Peppy mm -hmm. Plume. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't use a lot of. I don't buy paper on Amazon, so they don't know what to show me. The Lord's Term uh, 120 gram is pretty darn good. Actually. Yeah, you got the new one. Yeah. I don't remember how it does with sheen. It's kind of. I can't reach it right now, but yeah. anyway. Anyway. I look from Katie Purrs. Yeah, Katie Purrs are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. She's kind of the best at purring in the house currently. Yeah. Mr. Nose used to be, but then he got uh, he got complacent. He did. So. Um, well, you about ready for some pizza? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm about ready for some pizza. Are you ready for some pizza? I'm. That's why I suggested it. Okay. Yeah, it's a yeah. good idea. We should do that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have some pizza. Yeah. I hope you have a good weekend. Hope you'll have, have a great weekend. Oh, Earful notebooks. Yeah, Earful's on Amazon, you said. Let me uh let me Google those up. I R O F U L. Yeah. Ten bucks. Ninety six pages. That's pretty good. Is this just plain? Yeah, these are blank. Oh, yeah. yeah, add to cart. You can get a free delivery tomorrow. So this notebook and there's loose sheet. Um, I didn't get both. Which is loose sheets. Nine dollars for a hundred of them. It's even yeah. cheaper. Cool. It's like, hey, technical paper. Yeah, you can that. get A4 as well. Um, yeah, depending yeah. on what you want. Yeah. You can get a big one. It's not really any more expensive for A4. Yeah. That's wild. Oh, it's 70, um, 50 sheets. So it's half as much paper. That makes sense because it's, it's twice, twice as big. It's twice as big, yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. Uh, let me, uh, I'll give you a little linky, little linky link here, maybe. Russell, thank you for getting some inks. Nice, and it's actually yeah. available on there, which is yeah. kind of, which is kind of nice because. I said I was not having a good time. We don't have a yum stream. We don't have the box yet, so. Yeah, we don't yeah. have uh, we don't have the box yet. Actually, I don't know if it's even been stored. Uh, who knows? Or sent rather. Yeah. yeah. Um, ordering some Franklin Kristoff inks. Very nice. Get them yes. uh, for, for those two ounce bottles. That was a silly good price. Yeah, for one that you are considering. Yeah, for sure. Share with somebody you might you know. It's two ounces. Yeah. So. Sounds like the ink's not going away. Just there's it's switching just into the, the other bottle. To the one ounce bottles, more yep. popular. Yeah. All right, folks, thanks very much for hanging out with us today. We will see you uh, next week, Tuesday. Well, I will see you next week, Tuesday and Thursday on the Twitches. Audrey and I will see you here, same bat time, same bat channel on week YouTube. Week after next is Atlanta. Week after next is Atlanta. Oh, uh, I talked to our, our, our pet yeah. monitor. She's good. Oh, for oh good. good. Yeah. Seems like yeah. things are clustered mm. where there's lots yeah. in a row. I know. Next one is August. It's true. And where there's so many in a row. Yeah. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is Sunday. It wear, is. Some, wear some green or some orange, yep, depending on your affiliation. We're not wearing green today, but you know, uh, Monday I shall. Tomorrow, if you're in the uh, the North Carolina area, oh, that's right. Yeah. Crazy Allen's is having their like in store Instagram. extravaganza, so they're gonna have Deb Kinney there grinding nibs. You're gonna have uh, Crazy Allen himself there mm -hmm. selling his stuff as well as you know the the stuff they already have in store. I think there's gonna be a couple of other people there being vendors as well, but I don't oh, yeah? I don't remember the details. Oh. That's from I want to say two until six or something when like they, that yeah, two they, until five two until six yeah. whenever they close yeah. uh so if you're in the the triangle or uh triad areas haul out to crazy islands come say hi yeah we're planning to go out there at least well, at least i am you want to go to crazy islands all right she might go might be both of us we'll see how it goes go and hang out yeah she said she has peeps washi tape so i gotta at least go get some peeps that washi tape like um they definitely did have some dark lilac because that's where i bought that's mine. where you got yours yeah um yeah so uh, there you go. All right, that's it. We're going to get out of here. Thanks very much for hanging out. It was a real Midwestern goodbye today. It was. That was more you than Midwestern goodbye than me, actually. Like the way she goes. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Until next time, think about what you put out in the world to make it a better place. Better, not worse. Barahe. Cheerio water bus. Trust a bivalve. Don't trust a bivalve. Bye, everybody. Bye.